Hi there, this is uh, Brian. Uh, just wanted to give you a rundown of a new historical database that I've built uh, which contains some uh, tick data of over 14 currency pairs for uh, Forex trading uses. Um, this whole process took about probably 48 hours in total. Um, with uh, total computing time. Uh, just so you know, the kind of hardware I'm running is a uh, is a, an Intel i7 with uh, 8 gigs of RAM and a 2 gig uh, hard drive. I'm sorry, 2 terabyte drive. Uh, so I am running at a fairly high-end uh, system which is quite uh, fast. Um, just wanted to give you uh, a rundown of what the database looks like, the um, the things that are in it and how it was built. Uh, okay, so right now what you're looking at is the MySQL query browser, um, and I've just done a quick uh, execute of a count to show how many uh, records there are. There are over uh, 280 million. Uh, the reason I use MySQL is um, I like SQL Server. It's fairly fast, but obviously there's a price for it. Um, but as I am developing my uh, trading platform I am seeing and it is done in C++ all native 100% C++ I am noticing a few lags with uh, Windows um, be it uh, the MySQL um, database connection or if you're just launching a uh, news feed or a market feed there's a bit of a lag I know with Linux it's not uh, doing that or will not be doing that if I do uh, implement uh, my proposed uh, trading platform in Linux so I wouldn't expect to see those sort of lags but anyhow uh, obviously the big reason I'm using MySQL is for those two reasons it's first a free database from uh, the old guys over at Sun who have been taken over by Oracle as well as um, the uh, MySQL is pretty well supported on all platforms all major platform platforms including uh, Windows, Mac, OS 10, and uh, Linux. Um, so let me show you what we got. So what we have here is we have an FX database. It has one table of um, effects, um, and uh, basically uh, it does take a while to run this uh, query for a simple count of the number of rows in the table. Uh, do note, as I said, it's about 280 million. Um, and uh, there's no indexing, there's nothing uh, done to the table, but of course uh, um, anybody can optimize it to their own needs, uh, let it be through clustering, through indexing, through sharding, however you want to do it, uh, it's obviously there for uh, your use as a historical tick database. The frequency, as I said, is multiseconds. Uh, it's not five minutes, not a minute. It is in the multiseconds. The time period of the uh, database runs from spring of 2009 up until about uh, the fall of 2011. So you're just getting over two years worth of data in there. Um, and it contains over 14 uh, currency pairs within the entire database. Um, so let me show you a few other things um, that you need to know about. Uh, first of all, um, I've built a, uh, a script, or not a script, but a SQL file, a text file, which basically is a MySQL dump. For instance, if I did a MySQL dump and then the usual uh, user root and then the password, whatever that be, um, and then I can generate a, uh, a text file, whatever it's called, um, and then that will basically generate all the entire uh, SQL codes uh, that you need to generate this table. Um, I'll be providing this SQL file um, on a membership area on the website over at uh, quantlabs.net, but do understand there's these are the sizes you're dealing with. Uh, if you use MySQL dump, the uh, MySQL dump will generate over 13 gigs uh, worth of data. So you're looking at 13 gig 750. Um, and when you crunch it up uh, using like something like a WinZip, 
you get one and a half, 1.4 gig, but using uh, another program called 7-Zip, um, I am able to, uh, here's the 7-Zip, the dot 7-Z, I'm able to scrunch it down to oh, just under one gig at 800 megs. So that would be the exact same uh, file that I'll put available on the membership area in the near future. Also, you're probably wondering, how did I get um, the data, which um, how I got it was uh, was from a format of a CSV or comma separated um, value uh, and I built a little C-sharp program that will import the data and then bang it out and connect to the MySQL database and then you're able to um, basically insert the uh, data or populate the table uh, here in the query browser your FX table. Um, so our last query is complete as I said, we have 286 uh, million rows or records in the, in the table of the FX database. Um, if I was to run just a generic select um, star uh, on the uh, table, it's going to get pretty ugly. Uh, let me just do that. Uh, and there you go. And there's the format of the um, of the uh, table and you got your currency period date you're opening your close um, on your uh, on your value of that uh, exchange on the uh, currency for that tick time okay so there's that um, and let me just show you the um, program that uh, loads the uh, c from the CSV files into the MySQL table uh, this is the entire C sharp program that I built it seems to work um, Basically, uh, it will read in the file, um, basically right here, it uh, goes through each CSV within any directory that you provide. Here's the uh, source of the, um, of the, uh, where the uh, files reside, and um, basically you loop through the directory, and then what happens is you uh, list out each file, uh, and then from there you do some parsing um, which will turn it into a list but you don't really need the list um, but uh, from the file name you're then able to do an actual MySQL insert into the table so it does the connect uh, and then here there's uh, from the MySQL uh, folks there's um, the connection uh, connector you would need for the uh, for um, MySQL and you can do a bulk a bulk insert which will load in the uh, CSV but for MySQL I had to do a convert of the date timestamp um, for so that could be properly inserted into um, into uh, MySQL and I have another uh, method that does that um, down here uh, that allows you to, as I said, to delete or to uh, format, reformat, re manipulate a new date format so that it's acceptable by MySQL um, and it is a type of uh, timestamp. Uh, also, what else can I show you? Uh, yeah, and then once it does the uh, bulk insert, it's fairly fast. Um, when you run the uh, program, it takes ooh, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours depending upon your uh, processor and uh, that will build and populate your um, your database so um, that's pretty well it um, and let me show you the uh, contents of the uh, SQL file that I will be providing um, so that would look like something like uh, this um, Okay, moving from the uh, contents of the SQL uh, file or the SQL uh, file that's generated by uh, MySQL dump, I just want to show you the schema of the database. Um, so here's the database, FX, uh, and the table's called FX. Again, these are not um, indexed or anything. I just wanted to keep it nice and easy, um, and basically it contains your currency pair, your date, which is a timestamp, and then your two floats for your open, your close values of the um, of the forex uh, value or the currency value 
at that time of the tick. So hopefully that will help you out. Um, and again, D this table and, and database is created from the SQL uh, file. Um, and that, again, will be available on a membership area at the site, quantlabs.net. Uh, but uh, there's a description of the video on YouTube. Uh, there's a link to where um, the future uh, links will be for download on the, my, on the SQL uh, uh, file that uh, is generated by the uh, MySQL dump, as well as I will um, upload as well the... Um, uh, Visual Studio solution package for the C-Sharp application or program that will uh, convert um, your CSVs into and populate your your uh, database uh, or and the FX table. Hopefully that will help you out. Um, I'm praying it will. Um, and if you got questions, just reach out to me on the contact form at uh, quantlabs.net. Have a nice day.